Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today's video is one you don't make for the algorithm, you make it for other people who need this very specific thing. So I don't expect this video to blow up, but hopefully for the people who are looking for this thing, which you should see in the title, this will be very helpful. So for those who don't know, I keep a blog. I've been running this blog since 2010, actually, and it runs on Ghost. And so it's, you know, just a normal blog or whatever, um, but Ghost is the back end for it. And I usually publish from the web interface. I also use Ulysses, which is a Mac and iOS and iPad app um, to publish. But I was curious if I could do it from Obsidian because I use Obsidian for some other things. And it turns out you can. And so I'm going to show you from start to finish how you set up Obsidian to publish to your Ghost account. Um, so we're going to create a brand new vault. Um, we're going to call it uh, ABC. And we need to pick a place to put it. Um, I'm just going to put it in my Obsidian iCloud folder. That seems good to me. Uh, this means it'll nicely sync to my other devices as well. So we'll just create that. And now we have a fresh instance of Obsidian. Um, and so you can configure this obviously however you'd like. There's a ton you can do here. I am going to, first things first, uh, I'm going to set it to light mode because I prefer that. Um, but that also gets us into the settings where you need to do the first thing, and that's go to plugins. Uh, so I'm going to turn on community plugins, I'm going to browse, and just search for Ghost. Uh, there's one called Obsidian Ghost Publish. And now there's not a ton of installs on this, but I have been using it, and it does work. It's kind of limited, and I'll show you exactly what the limits are. But um, yeah, so we're just going to install it. We're going to enable it. And then we're going to hit options. <laughs> so that takes us down to the options page. And there's two things you need to do um, for this. You need your API URL and your admin API key. So let's go over to the ghost settings to get those. So uh, integrations is where you want to go. Uh, and then you have kind of all these uh, built in ones. And then there's custom integrations. And that's what you're doing. Uh, you can see I've got one for IA writer. And then I also have my one that I'm currently using for Obsidian. So we're going to just create a new custom integration. Uh, we're going to call this, um, uh, let's see, Obsidian testing. We'll call this. Cool. I can give it a description. I can give it an icon, um, but that doesn't really matter. What really matters is this admin API key and the app API URL. So the URL is just the homepage for your blog. So I'll paste that. And then the admin API key, I'm going to copy, paste. I'm not going to blur any of this out because I'm going to delete this before I publish the video. So uh, no funny business, anybody. Um, but that's it. Um, I can go ahead and close this. And now I'm good. Um, now I will say, uh, let me uh, go back to my settings and view the documentation for this because you do have to be very specific with this. Um, so what um, this plugin does is it basically uses front matter, like YAML front matter to do a couple things. And there's not a ton of controls you have here. Um, you can set the title, the tags, whether it's a featured post or not, whether it should be published um, when you run this. Uh, if there's an excerpt and if there's a featured image. So I've got it set up um, and let's just create a new post. So we're gonna create a new file. We're gonna call it, uh, this is a test post. Cool. Um, and then we need to, I'm just gonna copy their example front matter. And if you don't know how this works, basically you do uh, dash, 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 all your front matter and then another dash, dash, dash. And then your actual, like the body of what you're writing goes down here. Um, I'm actually going to tweak this. So the title um, of the post, you can uh, put a string here and it defaults to the name of the file. Personally, I'm just going to name my files whatever I want the title of the post to be. So this can go in my opinion. Tags, it's gonna default to nothing, but you can put a list of tags here. Um, so I'm just going to leave it um, as, a, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it just, blank. Um, but when you do want to add a tag, you want to do, I'll, I'll do this. Uh, link is one that I use a lot. So I'll use that as my tag for this one. Um, featured. Uh, so this is going to be true or false. Um, I don't use this feature, but I'm going to just set it to false. Uh, published. I'm going to set it's going to default to false, which will publish it as a draft. Um, so I'm going to do false. You can do true if you want it to just publish right away. There is no way, uh, at least as of December, uh, 8th, 2022 to, um, schedule a post. You can either publish it right away or just publish it as a draft. 
Um, you can do an excerpt for the post, um, which I'm just going to leave that blank. And then featured image is a string. I actually don't really understand how this one works. It's not documented, so I'm not sure what string it's expecting. If it's supposed to be a URL, um, it's probably supposed to be a URL, but yeah, I'm not really sure how to do this, so I apologize, but it's not documented, so I don't know. Um, so here's so this is pretty basic. Um, this is a test post, and we're gonna say this is a test post with uh, bold text and some um, italic text and a link for good measure. And the link, we'll do command K on that to turn it into a link and we'll do just Google um, there. So you can see like Obsidian is doing its thing where it formats the text in line with Markdown and everything. Um, and this is not a great post, <laughs> but uh, this is a test post, so that's fine. Um, and so uh, I'm just gonna do uh, uh, lorem ipsum uh, there for the excerpt, just so you have something there. We are not gonna publish it um, because I don't actually, this will actually get into people's feeds and it'll trigger some other automations I have. So I'm not gonna actually publish it. I'm just gonna publish it as a draft for this. Um, we are not gonna mark it featured, um, and then we're not gonna do a featured image. So we'll just leave all this blank. Um, so what I should see when I publish this is this is a test post with a tag link, um, and then it's not gonna be featured, it won't be published, there'll be an excerpt that's just very boring, um, and then there'll be no featured image. Uh, so not super exciting, I'm basically using all the features, um, but yeah, so this is it. And so to trigger it is um, you're gonna want to just use your command palette to search for this, Obsidian Ghost Publish. I think you could also click uh, Publish here. Yeah, that's actually, wow, one click and it's done. So has been uh, posted as a draft. Let's go back to here, look at my posts, and I should see uh, this is a test post. So this is a test post. This is a test post with bold text and some italic text and link for good measure. Um, can go over here. I can see my tag was applied. Um, the excerpt actually didn't come along, so maybe that's broken somehow. Did I do that wrong? I'm not really sure. Let me go back to the, uh, the documentation. Um, excerpt string. It's a string. Was it supposed to be in quotes? Not really sure. Let's try that. Uh, try to put it in quotes. I'm going to delete this one. So delete that post. It's gone. We are going to publish again. It's actually really awesome how quickly that publishes. Um, reload the page to get it to show up. This is a test post and the excerpt still didn't show. So maybe that just doesn't work. So maybe if you use excerpts, this isn't gonna work at all. So kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so this is what you're able to do. I can actually, um, let me open a different vault. Uh, so this is the one I actually started using recently. And this is an example of a post that I published entirely from um, Obsidian. So. Unabashedly good Apple News is the name of the file. Um, I put a tag of link, uh, publish true, and no excerpt and no featured image. Again, apparently this would do nothing if it was even there. Um, and so this is just uh, written in Markdown, right? And then I have links and stuff out. Um, but yeah, I was able to write it and then with one click publish to my ghost site, which was awesome. Uh, so let me throw that in my archive. Now, there is another thing you can do to make this easier. Um, for you when you want to do this the next time. Um, and that's going to require us to go to the community plugins again, browse, and there's a very popular plugin called uh, Templater. And so Templater basically lets you save templates. And so I'm going to install this, enable it, and then um, I'm going to go into options. Well, actually, I'm not going to go there yet. Um, what I want to do is create two folders here. So um, archive. So this is my archive. Um, so I publish this post, now it goes in the archive so I don't have to look at it all the time. And then I also wanna do templates. And so I have another folder called templates. And um, inside here, I'm going to uh, create a note. I'm gonna call it, and this is how you need to format it for templater, um, new blog post. And then, so this is, I'm getting ahead of myself. With templater, you can create files. I'm gonna put this in the templates folder. Um, you can create files with a name and then whatever's in the note that can be um, added as a template uh, to another note. Um, so your template folder location, I'm putting as templates and everything else is really uh, extraneous for this. 
Um, but we are going to go back to the documentation one more time. I'm going to copy their YAML uh, stuff. So dash, 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 paste, dash, 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 a couple of enters. And so let's set some defaults. So let's uh, do link, because that's what I normally do. Um, again, I don't use title, because I'm going to use the name of the uh, file. I don't use featured. Uh, so we're going to delete that. Published, we're going to set it to false. Um, and then I'll be able to change it whenever I want. An excerpt and featured image, I'm not going to use. So delete those. So not crazy elaborate, but here's the stuff that I need to have at the front of every file. Oh, I'll get rid of that placeholder as well. Um, so this is what I need at the front of every file that I create. Not much, but would be annoying to type out every time. So I have this file called new blog post in the uh, templates folder. And if I uh, hit command P and uh, pull it, look for uh, templater, I can do create a new note from a template, new blog post shows up, and now I have uh, my second post, and then it has these things here, and then I can just start writing my post down below, and all my stuff is here. I can add you know, more tags, I can change this to true, I can make other changes if I'd like, but this kind of like boilerplate stuff, I can just launch uh, with that. I think I could even do this. Yeah, so this is actually the quicker way, so let me delete this file. Um, don't ask again, delete. So the next time, so even quicker than the command palette is just use this guy over here. This, new blog post. Oh, can't append, no active view, can't append. Oh, that's annoying, okay. So again, you can tell I didn't record this ahead of time or have a super plan uh, what to do. Um, da -da 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 -da. Can I change show icon in sidebar? <sighs> Startup templates. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't so. Okay, so you what you can do is you can either just uh, search for templater, create a new note from a template, and then select your template, and that'll create a new thing. Or um, I'm going to delete this one. Or you can create a file, uh, call it something, and then hit this new blog post, and that'll add it to what your the current uh, note that you're looking at. Whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of extraneous to the whole uh, publishing the ghost thing. But in my opinion, that makes this feel a little better. There's probably a way to set up a keyboard shortcut to run this whole thing. Um, so, uh, buh, 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 buh. so this command, like there is option N, but I think that's actually going to conflict with something in Mac OS. Yeah, so it actually won't actually do that because it uh, does that character. So you can't actually use that, but I'm sure you can change that somewhere in the settings. Um, but anyway, uh, we're getting a little deep into how Obsidian works and what you can customize with it. But generally, that is the workflow of being able to publish to your ghost site from Obsidian. Um, it's definitely more on the nerdy side, and it's not as full-featured or as seamless as uh, what you get from dedicated apps. But if you want to do it, if you want to publish from Ghost, uh, from Obsidian, I should say, to Ghost. You can absolutely do it. The setup of the plugin is really easy. Uh, we showed you that right at the start, and then it's just a matter of um, does it suit your needs. Um, images, I don't know how to do those yet um, outside of like linking to external images, but you can't really upload your own images in these posts as far as I can tell. So there's some limitations. It's not the best, but again, you came to this video to find out how to do it. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.